This is the Transformers Generations Studio Series number 26 from Transformers of the Last Night Deluxe Class World War II Bumblebee. Bumblebee apparently was on Earth in World War II. After watching Transformers Bumblebee, the movie, I have no idea how they're going to fit this into that continuum. I picked up this figure at Our Toys, and let's get him out of packaging. And here is World War II Bumblebee out of packaging, and he actually looks great. Uh, I was surprised that I would like him. He In pictures on the internet, he just seemed so plain, monotonous. But looking at him up close, he's got a ton of sculpted detail about him. I'm actually okay with him. Looking at the details of the figure, you get to see a lot of like armor plating sculpted on him. He's got a huge backpack on him. That's okay. I figured, you know, he's infantry and, you know, they turn him into infantry and okay with a backpack. Big feet. But you get the sense that it is Bumblebee based on the aesthetic and silhouette of the figure. He comes with his like Gatling gun pistol and his battle hammer. The battle hammer looks a little bit small. I was expecting it to be much bigger, like the movie Best Bumblebee, but seeing that it is just a studio series figure and in smaller scale, the battle hammer got to be smaller. I mean, they made it smaller and more apt to the scale of the studio series. It actually has, retains a lot of the details that we saw in that uh, movie Best Battle Hammer Bumblebee. And his pistol, really, it looks like a Gatling gun or grenade launcher. Sort of like a steampunk pistol. The figure also comes with a diorama. If you remember that flashback scene uh, in The Last Night where Anthony Hopkins was talking about how Bumblebee and Hot Rod were, in, were used back in World War II to infiltrate a uh, or to attack a Nazi camp or base. And this is the scene where he comes in in vehicle mode and transformed and just all hell breaks loose. So that's pretty cool. For size comparison, here he is with his buddy Hot Rod, Studio Series Bumblebee, and Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Bumblebee. Articulation for the figure, head, neck is on a ball joint. Shoulders are on a ball joint, bicep swivel, got a hinge elbow, hinge wrists because of transformation. He's got waist articulation that just goes this way, not all the way through. It's a very short 45 degree angle. Ball jointed hips that on my copy of the figure are just very, very loose. He's got a thigh swivel, hinge knees, go only up to there and that's about it some bit of fo foot articulation because of the transformation now the weapons you can also store on the back on his backpack the hammer here and the gun if you wanted to you can plug it in right there transformation uh it's actually pretty straightforward so let's start with the legs go ahead and open it up like this like this fold the feet up unfold the wheels Close it back right here, and just tab the two legs together, like that. Okay, now on to the rest of the pieces. Untab the shoulders, slide down the chest, and the head goes down. Okay, rotate, now unfold the wheels, rotate that whole shoulder assembly, like that. Okay, fold the arms down like this, okay, and then rotate the bicep this way, this way, fold the shoulders in like that, fold the fists in like this, and these four arms, they're going to tab in right the right there on those tabs so you have to bend it and tab bend the elbow and tab like that what you want to do you want to open this up like this collapse the entire roof and then what you want to do is you want to tab that hole into that peg 
and then that hole into that peg right there. So it, it takes a little bit of effort, but you gotta do it. Okay, you gotta do it at the same time. Tab that and tab that in. Don't do it one at a time. So just slide like that. Okay, uh, this back piece goes right here. And then the wheels just fold down like that. And they're gonna tab onto that rear bumper. Like that. That. Okay. Now the weapons, uh, the hammer, make sure it's in the correct position that it bends this way. If not, you can easily just rotate the hammer. It comes packaged this way, at least my copy came packaged this way, where the hole for the peg is, and it swings this way. It doesn't swing both ways, it just swings one direction, so it's wrong. You gotta rotate it this way, so it swings this way, okay? Rotate the hammer this way. And then rotate like that, and then fold it down. You must peg the forearms properly and fix the hammer in that position to be able to complete that transformation. And then the gun. There you go. Looking at the alt mode or vehicle mode in detail, it rolls very, very nicely. It's a lot of clearance from the ground. You get some kibble up front. That's okay. Weapons, you can just do this. This doesn't do much. At first glance, it looks like it's all just green plastic. But if you look closely, there is some olive green, yellow green chartreuse type of wash that they put on it. That's really all of the things that you can do with this particular vehicle mode. It's it's World War II. Uh, I, I suppose they could have put a little bit more rust to it or some battle damage to it, but they didn't. Uh, it's just wash, you can see the brush strokes right there. Uh, and as you're transforming the figure, you begin to feel how flimsy the plastic they used for this particular figure. It's, it's just one of the softest type of plastic that I rest my case. And every time I, that's the, that's the first time that happened, but I was, I was transforming, practicing transforming this figure, the panels on the side just love to pop off. And it, it's a very, very soft type of plastic. And it feels like the kind of plastic they would use for knockoffs. And yeah, it's a little disappointing that uh, the quality that they used uh, isn't, isn't as, as great as the older Transformers we've seen. And for size comparison, uh, here he is with Clunker Bumblebee Camaro. Okay, decent, decent scale, decent size. It probably is the way he would be scaled. Final thoughts on the figure. Should you get it? Well, the version of Bum this version of Bumby appears for like what five seconds in the last night. I think it's only for the completest. If you're if you have too many bumblebees or you feel you just need to get a few for the pseudo series, you don't have to pick this one up. This is probably the least priority in the wave. You gotta pick up sideswipe or barricade first and this one. But uh not to say I hate the figure. I actually like the figure. Uh, I was pretty much impressed with it. Um I well I didn't expect a lot from it to begin with. So I wasn't too disappointed. Because of the flimsiness of the plastic and somewhat tediousness of transformation, it's gonna get an eight out of 10. Again, it's really just for the completest. I, I don't think it's something you have to purchase. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this video review and thanks for watching.